Hi guys, Dr. Rob Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. Um, I'd like to talk today a little bit and more about salt. Um, I've already mentioned uh, salt in my uh, previous videos and I've already obviously written blog articles on salt. Uh, most people, um, when they mention salt, uh, think of table salt, which is sodium chloride. Um, and the current medical opinion is that too much salt in the diet causes high blood pressure. Um, so when we eat too much sodium chloride, uh, the theory suggests that the extracellular fluid volume increases and this causes uh, an increased resistance in blood vessels and that causes uh, an increase in blood pressure. Um, however, that is not true and it's provably not true from the nutritional literature. Increasing salt intake in healthy people um, does not cause an increase in blood pressure in isolation. There have to be other factors present. One of those factors uh, is genetic. Many people are born uh, salt sensitive. Uh, it is only a very small percentage of the population, but there are a number of people, usually people who have been born prematurely. They become sensitive to salt and high sodium diets do cause increase is in blood pressure. Um, however, that's a very small number of people. The vast majority of healthy people do not have increases in blood pressure from an increased uh, amount of sodium in the diet. All that happens is the excess sodium uh, is flushed from the body. However, if you have a high sodium diet in combination with a low potassium diet, you end up with high blood pressure. Having a low potassium intake uh, and a high sodium intake causes an increase in blood pressure. And this has been shown in scientific studies. That is the, the, the factor that is required in order for sodium to have an effect. So really what we're talking about here is the sodium to potassium ratio. Now, if you look at plant foods, what is the sodium potassium ratio of plant foods? Well, plant foods contain high amounts of potassium. They generally, most of them contain low amounts of sodium. Uh, so they supply more potassium than sodium and therefore eating a predominantly plant-based diet causes uh, your blood pressure to remain stable you don't develop high blood pressure when you move away from a plant-based diet which might be a traditional diet like the mediterranean diet you move towards uh, a western diet uh, the typical western diet what we find is that because the plant food uh, content of the diet has gone down and the processed uh, food content of the diet has gone up we find a large increase in the amount of sodium and a large decrease in the amount of potassium in the diet. So the sodium to potassium uh, ratio changes and this can lead to an increase in blood pressure. Now, ob the obvious solution to this is to eat a plant-based diet. And this is what I recommend. If you have a very uh, plant-based diet, you eat a lot of plant foods, something like the traditional Mediterranean diet, your potassium intake will be high, your sodium intake will be low. Um, and you will maintain your blood pressure and you shouldn't develop high blood pressure unless you are in uh, unlucky enough to be one of those people who maybe has a genetic predisposition to it. Um, but some people like salt on their food uh, and I can understand this. I'm one of those people. I do like salt on certain foods. Um, but if you do add a lot of salt to your food, you can increase the sodium content of your diet considerably. And this does upset the potassium to sodium ratio somewhat. Um, so I've got a recommendation, a tip for those people who like to put salt on their food, but who don't want to upset their sodium to potassium ratio. There is an alternative to sodium chloride, which is what we call normal table salt, and that is potassium chloride. You can buy uh, products like low salt, uh, which are made instead from sodium uh, instead of being made from sodium chloride, they're made from potassium chloride and they taste identical. Um, potassium chloride has exactly the same taste. It, it affects the same um, taste buds in the mouth and it, uh, it sends the same signals to the brain and therefore you get the same uh, response in terms of your taste. So if you add um, potassium chloride to your food instead of sodium chloride, you can maintain uh, a very high intake of potassium and keep your sodium intake very low. And this is what I would recommend. Those people who feel that they can't give up salt uh, but are obviously eating a very healthy diet and feel that uh, the salt that they add to their food or perhaps they add it to their cooking um, feel that that extra salt uh, may actually upset the ratio I would suggest that actually what you do is you either turn to uh, potassium chloride as an alternative or you mix potassium chloride uh, with sodium chloride uh, and I think some of these products are actually uh, a mixture of the two uh, favoring potassium chloride um, in order to be able to maintain your balance. Um, however, what I would say, um, even if you do add salt to your food, 
um, you are unlikely to cause um, an increase in blood pressure as long as your diet is generally very healthy. Uh, I see no evidence that if those people eating perhaps a traditional Mediterranean diet added salt to their food, I see no real evidence that that would cause uh, high blood pressure. High blood pressure is really caused by a poor quality diet as a whole, uh, and that would be something like the typical Western diet. Uh, and it's also caused uh, or is associated with weight gain uh, and the metabolic syndrome. So all these syndromes of, uh, of conditions that we get from eating a poor quality diet, uh, high blood pressure is one of those. If you are generally healthy, uh, you're fairly lean, you don't have excess body fat, you're eating a high quality diet, I would suggest that you either uh, liberally uh, put salt on your food if you feel that you uh, you, you need to uh, and if you are concerned that you switch to potassium chloride um, which is readily available you can find it online uh, you can find it in shops um, and it tastes identical and therefore you should be able to enjoy uh, adding salt to your food without altering the taste at all.